Man, I'm so excited to introduce you guys to the Retainer Power Pyramid. And you've probably heard of leverage and value before, but I think this concept is going to be a new idea to you, and this is where the real unlocks happen. So let's take a look. Okay, let's start in the bottom. So if you're offering little value and you're using little leverage, then you're in a really bad situation. As we said, my example before, I was working myself to death. I knew I wanted recurring revenue, but I was working myself to death. So now let's go one step above. These retainers are okay, but they could be better. You've got monthly deliverables. Uh, maybe it's just project based for each month. And then the best retainers, which we're, we're going to spend a lot of time talking about, offer certainty, access, and insurance. But let's get to the top tier right away. Certainty, access, and insurance. Here's our explanation. You want to offer certainty that the website, the SaaS product, the dashboard, whatever digital tool that you're offering, or the plan, if we're talking a marketing plan, will work. You give access to you and your team's expertise. We already talked about access a little bit. And insurance, in case something doesn't go as planned. There's not a lot of risk to you and your company, and your time commitment is low. Here are some examples of selling certainty, access, and insurance. For a website, the client wants the tool, the, the website, to run around the clock, and you provide that certainty. And you handle that by offering periodic updates to make sure, you know, a new plugin when it updates doesn't crash the site, making sure that you're providing security for the site. Now, I just want to make something clear here. You're not puffing out your chest at the client and making this guarantee. The website will always be perfect. And no, I mean, there are too many variables and you don't have to do that. They just want to know, they want to have the certainty that you're going to do your job so they can do theirs, right? They're the expert at their job. They're paying you to be the expert at your job. And you, you provide certainty, okay? But you don't, like I said, you don't need to make any guarantees. You don't need to puff out your chest and boast. It's understood that you're going to make that website work and that they don't have to worry about it. And let's say that things don't go as planned, right? Because sometimes the firmware updates, sometimes something happens on the back end, you will take care of it. And that's the insurance that they need to sleep well at night. Now, they also pay to reserve access to you and your team. This is kind of the nature of a retainer. And as we said, premium prices reserve premium access or premium response times to you and your team. Here is our middle tier. The explanation is that you just hand over read upon deliverables and it's usually on a monthly basis. Eh, it's medium risk. I guess it depends on how you write your contracts. The time commitment could be high if you write a poor contract or if you don't enforce the contract well. And then some examples are, okay, so we create graphics and images for social media or writing, you know, basic copy for a newsletter, something like that. Now, here are some struggles. I kind of alluded to it, but here are some struggles that I see frequently. If you're new to the game or you're taking on new projects and you underestimate how long it's going to take you, that can really be rough. Or maybe you wrote a bad contract and now you're overloaded with client work, requests, that sort of thing. Here's the one that unfortunately I see most often. You negotiated a fair deal. You have a good contract in place but you don't know how to enforce it nicely. You don't know how to communicate your value to the client. You don't know how to push back a little bit. And so you kind of let them just walk all over you. And a piece of advice that I would add, side note here, is that when you're first starting out in the relationship is the best time to reinforce those boundaries nicely because it gets harder and harder then to push back later on. And in the bottom tier, using little leverage, you offer little value to the client. You're often maybe paid hourly and you're kind of rewarded for working slowly or being inexperienced. And maybe this is happening because you're offering low value services, you're competing with overseas low cost labor or automation or now artificial intelligence. And so the risks are that you're constantly working for low pay, you're getting burned out, you have no free time, like some of the stories I talked about. Remember what Warren Buffett said, you're gonna work until you die. Not, not a nice thing to think about. The time commitment is high, and as we said, you could be just doing hourly design work. You could be doing unspecialized content writing, you know, a couple cents per word, uh, or maybe even hourly social media management, uh, which is even worse than some of my stories I was talking about. So let's review the top tier. What we really want to go for is selling certainty, access and insurance. The middle tier, which is kind of okay, is just deliverables and project-based. I think that's a lot depends on how you enforce your contracts and how you write your contracts there and how you communicate with the client. And then the last tier is, ooh, it's, it's death. So that was just a sample 
of the Content from our Revenue on Repeats course, where we teach you how to maximize business profit and free time. So make sure you click that link in the description to find out more.